World Blood Donor Day. Every year on 14th June, countries around the world celebrate World Blood Donor Day. The event serves to raise awareness of the need for safe blood and blood products and to thank blood donors for their life-saving gifts of blood. Blood is an important resource, both for planned treatments and urgent interventions. It can help patients suffering from life-threatening conditions live longer and with a higher quality of life and supports complex medical and surgical procedures. Blood is also vital for treating the wounded during emergencies of all kinds, natural disasters, accidents, armed conflicts, etc. and has an essential life-saving role in maternal and perinatal care. A blood service that gives patients access to safe blood and blood products in sufficient quantity is a key component of an effective health system. Ensuring safe and sufficient blood supplies requires the development of a nationally coordinated blood transfusion service based on voluntary, non-renumerated blood donations. However, in many countries, blood services face the challenge of making sufficient blood available, while also ensuring its quality and safety. Who can give blood? You are eligible to donate blood if you are in good health, weigh at least 110 pounds and are 17 years or older. You are not eligible to donate blood if you 1. have ever used self-injected drugs, 2. had hepatitis, 3. are in a high-risk group for AIDS. The FDA regulation states that a male who has had sex with another male, MSM, at any time since 1977 is prohibited from donating as a volunteer. Males who have had sex with other males are allowed to donate for their own health. Some health considerations or medications may require temporary deferral from donating blood. Donor eligibility is determined by the time of donation by trained personnel. See basic eligibility guidelines for more details. Basic Eligibility Guidelines Age You must be at least 17 years old to donate to the general blood supply. There is no upper age limit for blood donation as long as you are well with no restrictions or limitations to your activities. High Blood Pressure Acceptable as long as your blood pressure is below 180 systolic and below 100 diastolic at the time of donation. Medications for high blood pressure do not disqualify you from donating. Body Piercing you must not donate if you have had a tongue, nose, belly button, or genital piercing in the past 12 months. Donors with pierced ears are eligible. Cold and flu. Wait if you have a fever or a productive cough, bringing up phlegm. Wait if you do not feel well on the day of donation. Wait until you have completed antibiotic treatment for sinus, throat, or lung infection. Diabetes. Acceptable as long as it is well controlled, whether medication is taken or not. Diet. A meal is recommended at least four hours prior to donation. Drink plenty of fluids. MSM. Men who have had sex with other men at any time since 1977, the beginning of the AIDS epidemic in the United States, are currently deferred as blood donors. This is because MSM are, as a group, at increased risk for HIV, hepatitis B, and certain other infections that can be transmitted by transfusion. Tattoos, one-year deferral. Weight. You must weigh at least 110 pounds to be eligible for blood donation for your own safety. Blood volume is in proportion to body weight. Donors who weigh less than 110 pounds may not tolerate the removal of the required volume of blood as well as those who weigh more than 110 pounds. There is no upper weight limit as long as your weight is not higher than the weight limit of the donor bed or lounge you are using. You can discuss any upper weight limitations of beds and lounges with your local health historian. Other criteria that will be assessed at the time of donation include, but are not limited to, hemoglobin, travel, cancer, medications, hepatitis, and HIV risk. Who can give blood? There are eight different blood types, O positive, O negative, a positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, and AB negative. Everybody can donate blood. For ease of understanding, who can receive what type is as follows. 1. O can receive O only. 2. A can receive O and A. 3. B can receive O and B. 4. AB can receive O, A, B, or AB. 5. 
Positive can receive positive or negative. Six, negative can receive only negative. Why should we donate blood? Donating blood regularly has proved beneficial not only for the recipient but also the donor. It is helpful for the vital organs and it reduces risk for chronic diseases such as cancer and stroke. For certain treatments like chemotherapy, blood is required on a daily basis, whereas victims of accident may require up to 100 units of blood transfusion. In India, blood shortage is more than 2 million pint and counting. This World Blood Donor Day, here are 13 reasons why you should donate blood. 1. Reduce risk of heart attacks and liver ailment. Donating blood regularly is beneficial to prevent and reduce heart attacks and liver ailment. The risk of heart and liver related problem is caused by the iron overload in the body. Donating blood helps in maintaining the iron level in the body and thus reduces those risks. 2. Lowers the risk of cancer. Cancer is the most feared and deadly disease. Blood donation helps in lowering the risk of cancer. By donating blood regularly, the iron level in the blood is balanced and the risk of cancer related to the liver, lungs and intestines gets lower. 3. New blood cells. Once we donate blood, the body tries to restore the blood loss. This helps in the production of the new blood cells and maintain good health. 4. Reduce risk of hemochromatosis. Hemochromatosis is a disease that occurs due to increase in the absorption of iron by the body. Blood donation helps in reducing iron overload in the body and prevents hemochromatosis. 5. Maintain weight. It is recommended to donate blood for those who are overweight. Regularly donating blood helps in weight loss and burn fat up to 650 calories. 6. Helps prevent premature aging. While donating blood, you not only lose weight, but it also helps in reducing stress. Stress is one of the reasons that triggers premature aging. Blood donation helps in reducing stress in your mind and body. Also, keeps the skin tight and wrinkle-free. 7. Speeds up healing process. The body tries to adjust to the loss of red blood cells when we donate blood. These adjustments also help in accelerating the wound healing process. 8. Lower cholesterol level. Blood contains iron. If the iron in blood is overloaded, it can increase the chances of blockage in blood vessels. Blood donation can help to reduce the amount of iron in the blood, thus helps in lowering cholesterol. 9. Free medical checkup. Every donor goes through a routine checkup prior to donation. Body temperature is checked along with blood pressure, hemoglobin, and pulse. Blood is tested for 13 infectious diseases like HIV, West Nile virus, hepatitis B and C, and syphilis. It gives you a cost-free quick look into your health. 10. Live a longer life. The people who involved in the altruistic work have proven to live a longer life. Blood donation not only helps to save lives of others, but also helps you live longer and healthier. 11. Psychological upliftment. Beside all the healthy benefits that we obtain by donating blood, we also get the powerful benefits psychologically by helping the one in need. 12. Blood storage. There is no other method to manufacture blood. The only way to collect blood is from the people who are willing to donate. The blood that we donate is also stored at the blood bank after their usage and used in future when needed. Some chemicals are added to it in order to preserve it for a long time and use it in the future when needed. 13. Save lives. Every time we donate one pint of blood, it helps save three lives. So if we donate four times in a year, we end up saving 12 lives. We don't have to be a superhero to save someone. A simple act of donating blood can also save lives.